Hi guys, my name is Patrick I and welcome to Vlog 10. Hi guys, welcome back, welcome to Vlog 10. That was Patrick IE of Springwatch fame. Uh, there was a period last month in the middle of June where I was out to film the Springwatch crew filming the reintroduction scheme for Hazel Dormice in a secret location in a Warwickshire woodland. Um, it's a collaboration between Warwickshire Wildlife Trust, uh, Zoological Society London and most importantly the People's Trust for Endangered Species. Hopefully going to be back there soon to film Dormice themselves. It's a soft release, they're in cages as you're about to see in this little montage I've prepared. Um, but uh, as is at the moment, no film of Dormice, just this little piece for you. Hope you enjoy it. been a busy week this week it's been birthday weeks for two of us that's me and Thomas I was eight and Thomas was 45 and we both had some lovely lovely days out and had some great presents uh, Thomas actually went to the Natural History Museum in London um, it was a wonderful experience for him he has been before but he was too young to remember and here's a little piece about that day out that I filmed this is a district line train to Wimbledon
it was a really great day out for all of us thoroughly enjoyed it at what is I suppose the cathedral for natural history there in the heart of London I also had a wonderful present on my birthday um, and it was this contained in this box here this is ancestry.com's DNA pack um, comes uh, delivered to you at uh, a fair price I believe it'd be rude to mention the price of sleep since this is a present um, but it comes with a little booklet explaining what to do uh, a little envelope uh, for a test tube which I'll allude to in a second uh, a little prepaid box to send off the test tube in and then the test tube itself which is in here and what you do with this is that you collect some sputum some spit into the funnel end of this contained then in this bottle you've got to fill up to the little jagged black line there I don't know if you can just see that let me just put it into focus you'll see the little jagged black line there you've got to fill up to that level uh, and then screw on this cap uh, break the liquid inside this cap which preserves the sputum and preserves the DNA within you then send it off in the said box and within about eight weeks apparently you will get your results what kind of results are we to expect well it's said that um, a great majority of British people will be thoroughly surprised by the results because they're probably British only in a very small proportion of their DNA uh, we are of course a country that's famous for immigration and that isn't just recently the, the controversial recent immigration which I don't think is controversial at all um, but through the ages, through the centuries, we've been made up of many, many different nationalities in Britain. Um, I'm expecting that a good proportion of mine will be Irish. I say that because even though my mum was adopted, I am aware that her real parents were both Irish. Um, and that would obviously make me then 50% Irish, I'm guessing. I mean, this is obviously just a guess until I get the results. So I'm expecting at least to be 50% Irish. Um, but what remains of me, well, that, that will have to be seen when I get the results back. So it's Ancestry.com, it's their DNA pack, um, and I'm about to perform the act of providing the specimen now right in front of your eyes. So I'm going to open this up. Um, it comes in a sealed unit like this. If I pull out the test tube, you can see there it has a little container to fill the sputum in. Um, so what, do you know what? I'm going to turn away for this bit, or at least leave the room. Uh, and when I come back, hopefully this test tube will be prepared with the sample. You really don't want to see that. Right, well, that's done. Not uh, by any stretch of the imagination a necessary too pleasant task. Certainly got enough of a sample in there, I believe. Uh, I've taken the funnel off, which helped me do what I just did. And now I have to screw this cap on. I hope you can see that there. I'll just put that into sharp relief. There we go, and you can see that it has a clear blue liquid in it. That's the liquid or the chemicals that will preserve, apparently, the DNA in the sputum sample. So here goes with screwing it on. And as I screw it on, apparently this liquid will then disperse into the sputum. It's going. You can see that. And the blue liquid is now heading into the sample itself. Next part of the process is to shake for five seconds. Right, that's well shaken. So, preservative, sputum, all in one test tube, and ready for a delivery or dispatch hopefully. So that then goes into this envelope. It has an adhesive strip on it, I believe. I don't know what this thing is in here. A little bit of tissue or something inside the envelope. But So pop that into the envelope. By the way, uh, this test tube has a unique identifier on it, a number on it, a code and um, I've already filled in that code to the Ancestry.com DNA site so they're aware that this particular code and this particular sample belongs to me. Take off the adhesive strip, seal the envelope nice and tight 
and then all of this goes into the prepaid delivery box. There it is. That's heading off to Ireland, of all places. Just about fits in the box. Um, it has an adhesive liner on here as well, which I have to take the sticky off. There we go. So it must be that those two go down, then that goes down, and then this goes down on top. I'm pressing that nice and tight. So there we are, guys. Ready and prepared, and ready to head off to Ireland and hopefully in six to eight weeks, I think that's what they specify, we should have some results. And I wonder what they will be. Well, of course, when I do get the results, I'll be sharing with you um, what I find out on the vlog that's closest to it. Exciting stuff. Right, the teaser fan last week, if you remember, involved this little chap here. Um, I have to congratulate Ian Phillips, I have to congratulate the Urban Gardener, A.D. Quinn, Adam Homer, Grant from the Simple Joys, um, and I believe that's it, possibly Andy from uh, Wild Suburbia UK as well. Uh, it's Dog Tanyon uh, from the Musker Hounds, that wonderful series in the mid 80s uh, with its addictive theme tune. Forgive me for leaving that as the end title song. Um, in last week's vlog. So that's the answer for last week's vlog. Now the teaser for this week is going to be a bit more cryptic and I hope it's not going to be too cryptic for you <clears throat> but I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and make it possibly a little bit harder for you and it involves this black wallet here. Now if I turned around this wallet it would give the game away completely um, because on the front of this wallet is the identity of what it is. Um, but suffice to say that there was many, many kids, I suppose predominantly boys, um, that would yearn after the uh, contents of this wallet or just having it with them. Um, to get this wallet you had to fill in a very special little voucher, a coupon, with your name and address and then you had to plead with your parents to give you 50p which you would sell tape down to a piece of card and then together with that coupon you would send it off to a certain address. Um, hopefully then within the week or two weeks a little brown envelope would be through the uh, letterbox and on the mat and within that uh, little brown envelope would be this black wallet with its contents and its logo which is on the side facing me. What is this little black wallet? What does it pertain to? Does it ring any bells for anybody? Uh, I hope it does, otherwise this is a lost cause. If you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. And of course, I'll allude to the answer in vlog 11. Fantastic. Well, all too soon, I've got to say goodbye. I'm missing you already. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Please hit the uh, bell for notifications to see when I upload anything to this channel. And please take care of yourselves between now and Vlog 11. Cheerio, guys.